Hey, welcome to another science masterclass. Today we're going to learn about the different parts of a plant and animal cell. We're going to look at similarities, differences, and the common features between both of them. Okay, uh, my name is Mr. Saligaris, and this is part of my Year 8 Science Biology course. Okay, so um, we know that cells are vitally important to an organism. They are part of growth, they're part of repair, they're part of reproduction, and pretty much everything else that goes on in an organism. Okay, we need to learn about one word particularly today called an organelle. An organelle is just um, a structure or part of a cell which has a specific function. So it does something special uh, that other parts of the cell don't do. Okay, we're going to look at some of these organelles today. On my left here, or your left also, is the plant cell, the green one. On the right, the blue one represents an animal or human cell. Okay, so all cells, regardless of which type of organism they are found in, share some basic structures. Okay, uh, three of these key features are the cell membrane or the cell wall on the outside of these structures. Uh, that, as we learned before, is the site of where uh, exchange occurs when we talked about surface area to volume ratio. Uh, there's the cytoplasm. That's all this uh, jelly-like substance uh, that's uh, on the inside of the membrane that surrounds all the other organelles. Um, and also we've got the DNA. So this is the genetic information uh, that makes up this cell. Okay, let's talk about other parts of the cell. We've got, we've already mentioned the cell membrane, uh, the cell wall of the plant cell here is the layer that surrounds the membrane and provides it with extra strength and structure. So animal cells uh, don't have that cell wall, but they've got the cell membrane. They, the most important part of this is to keep the structure of the cell. The cytoplasm, like I mentioned before, uh, keeps the cell in some sort of a shape. Okay, the nucleus, if we're looking at the nucleus just here, of both of these, that's the control center of the cell and is surrounded by a nuclear membrane. So we're, we're talking about membrane again. Membrane just refers to uh, like a surface or a barrier. The nucleus uh, is like a little mini organ or organelle um, that has um, genetic information, uh, so your DNA inside of it. The cytoplasm, like I said before, is just that fluid-like substance that keeps the, the cell together. The vacuoles, that's another important one to learn about. Um, just here, these little green ones on there. The vacuole. They're like the storage compartments within that cytoplasm um, that contain a bit of watery fluid. They're important for the plant cell because they provide extra structure and also assists with the plant in growing upright to display uh, their leaves to the sun. Okay, we're going to learn about why they do that later on. Ribosomes, let's see if we can find some of them. The little dots, they're quite small. Um, they're the site of protein production. So there's many types of proteins within a cell um, that need to be produced. Um, so some for like structural proteins for like hair and nails. Um, and then there's other types of proteins for things uh, like parts of your blood. Okay, the mitochondria. This is a really super duper important one that you need to know over here and over here. Mitochondria is the powerhouse. Okay, the powerhouse of the cell. They supply it with energy. Um, for a process called cellular respiration. You don't need to know about that today. Um, we might learn about that later on. So the chloroplast is only found in plant cells, okay, or, and some other microorganisms. That's one of the differences between the two. You won't find the chloroplast in the animal cell because the chloroplast 
is the site of where uh, the plant converts light energy into chemical energy through that process of photosynthesis. Okay, that's all we're really going to talk about today. Um, thanks for watching the video. I hope you've learned a little bit more about the different organelles of the plant and the animal cell, how there's some similarities, how there's some differences. Make sure you subscribe to this video, like it, add comments, and watch other videos on my playlist. <laughs>